It's human nature for pitchers to feel disappointed when they give up a base hit or perhaps an error is made on defense. Getting off the mound and backing up bases isn't always the first thing on a pitcher's mind. In our program, it's our philosophy that we can't expect pitchers to back up bases unless we practice it. And when we practice it, we do our best to make it both fun and challenging. We set up our pitchers backing up bases drill with cones in shallow center field and shallow right center field with a group of position players at each cone. One pitcher at a time takes the mound and makes a pickoff throw towards second base. That pickoff throw goes into center field and it's now the pitcher's job to get off the mound and sprint to back up third base as there is a position player at the cone in center field who will field that errant pickoff throw and purposefully make a wild throw toward third base. Once the pitcher successfully backs up the errant throw at third, he feints a throw back towards second base as if a trail runner was advancing. Rather than the pitcher actually making this throw, we have a coach with a pitching machine stationed at third base, and the machine makes the pitcher's throw back towards second in order to preserve our pitcher's throwing arm. But you can also run this drill by having pitchers make this throw. With that throw made, it's now the pitcher's job to sprint to back up home plate as another errant throw is on the way, this time from a position player stationed at our cone in shallow right center field. Once the pitcher successfully backs up the throw to home plate, that pitcher's repetition is finished and it's the next pitcher's turn. An important point of emphasis, when backing up bases, pitchers should sprint to the fence or as close to the out of play line as possible so there's more room to back up a potential errant throw. We also remind our pitchers to see the baseball while sprinting to back up a base so he isn't caught by surprise by a wild throw. Pitchers who fail to successfully complete a repetition have 30 seconds to sprint from third base to the left field foul pole and back. Two unsuccessful repetitions means the entire pitching staff sprints. Above all else, the main goals of the drill are to have fun and prepare our pitchers for college baseball, where they will absolutely be expected to back up bases.